Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we've got something a little bit different. Now I know I may have said this last time, but this is still different for me. Uh, this is not a BB gun, this is in fact a BB target. So here we go, this is the Wellfire automatic target. It says this is a multi-function target. This is from Cheap BB Guns UK and it cost only £13. Well, £12.99 if we're being specific. So, I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into this. Oh, where do I start? I thought that would look a lot cooler than it did. Okay, now the plastic's off. I can feel this opening from the bottom. Yeah, so let's open this up. And we've got a kink in the box. Now, first off, we've got what appears to be the three targets. Uh, this will be the back net for it. Ah, the targets themselves. The frame. bit more of the frame, some kind of metal squares. And two paper targets. Now I'm gonna move this box. So these two targets are quite easy. They've got your name, points or score, and then order your bullets now on and then, I don't know if there's meant to be something written there. This is kind of just card. So I have no idea how strong they'll be and that kind of thing. Uh, or even if a kind of cheap BB gun will go through them. But we'll see. We've got our three targets in this Ziploc bag. So we've got small, medium, and a large target. These are like, I can't quite... I guess this is like rubber. I can't quite tell fully from the feel of them. I feel like it's rubber though. And then we've got the mechanism part. I think I need a sharper knife. So there's the mechanism. So I guess these two come down and the small this one here is like the control. So let's put the targets on. I'm gonna put the small one on the control one. The medium one in the middle. And then the big one. Now that looks pretty cool to me. Or I would if this was straight. Okay, so that looks pretty cool to me. We've got these, so these should just come down quite easy. Now we're gonna put this framing on, which slots in the back here, and I suppose slides in, yep. Now we're gonna put these on, which will go around the netting. So this is it without the net. Now we've got our net in a little Ziploc bag as well. And it kind of feels like a hair net almost. So we're gonna flick this here. And put this over. Oh, there's actually a specific way. It looks like, so corner, corner. And then, all this oh I've no idea if I'm doing this right I don't think I am though okay so this one actually bent down so I assume if I do that with this side it should
should make it that bit easier. Pull it over. So seeing this net now, I realize I've got it inside out. So I'll take this off, do it this way. That's clicked in place. Oh. And there we go. We've got my kind of messed up putting together of it, but all together that's the kind of thing it will come to. Uh, we're gonna slide in one of these. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick test of this and we're gonna do try and hit all of them five shots, um, just in case we miss. And we're gonna do that with tw 12 gram BBs, and then we're gonna do it with 20 gram BBs, see if there's a difference, see which one, see which one is more likely to knock them over, and if they do actually knock over, well, I'll be firing them out of the Vigor V302, and they will be Bulldog BBs. That's five 20 gram BBs. And 512 gram BBs into the Vigor pistol. This is a spring pistol, and I believe it fires uh, around 250 FPS, it says. Don't know how I, much I believe that. It doesn't shoot through cardboard, um, doesn't shoot through a can. So that's just kind of like a reference of how powerful this is. So we're gonna try and hit these targets now. Okay, so as you saw then, the 12 gram BBs uh, knocked the first one down straight away, but had a little bit of struggle on the second one, and they were hitting them in the center, it just wasn't quite hitting them hard enough. Um, and so I aimed a bit higher, and it knocked it down. And then the third one, it hit them and functioned well. Now the 20 gram BBs, I don't know if this was a difference in aiming, I don't think, but First one went down, second one went down, third one went down, they all came up. And it worked perfectly. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna use these cards. I'm gonna try and work out where to put them. Okay, I'm just gonna slide them in from the top then. In theory. That's in. Oh, that went all the way through. This one's not quite in the bottom. I'm gonna try again. They're both on. We're gonna fire the 0.12 grams at this one and the 0.20 at this one. And if that changes or if it stays the same, then there'll just be something here or here, basically just telling you which one is which. Now, they all went through, which I'm gonna be honest, I was quite surprised about. It worked quite well, as you can see. So this was the 0.12 grams, they all went straight through and left some holes, which I was quite surprised about. I didn't think they would go through. Um, I was kind of expecting this to be almost built for the kind of more powerful guns and then this to kind of just stay there. Uh, and then the 0.20 grams all went straight through. One of them went straight through and knocked over a target. The mechanism still works. All in all, I'd say this is quite a cool target if you're trying to not lose BBs, if you're fine with them just kind of going everywhere. Um, then I'd say aiming for the targets is not a bad plan. They will, when they hit them, just bounce off though. But again, this isn't necessarily trying to 
catch them. Uh, if you're aiming for the targets, this net will, this is where the net will come in handy. But all in all, I'd say this is a pretty good target. Uh, as far as BB retrieval goes, I assume we just take off the net. I'm gonna pop this one back a bit and just kind of make a little hole because I don't want to undo the whole thing. And then, but for now that'll be fine. Yeah, I just I would just make a hole and then when you're done with that, just pop it back on and pop this one back out. All in all, 13 pounds. I wouldn't say this is that hard to put together. Um, it was a bit confusing at first, but that was more with putting the net on and just kind of trying to suss out the best way to do it. I'm still not sure if you meant to pull it to the front almost and have them tighter or have it quite further back and have these be able to come out the whole way. But all together, I'd say this is a pretty good target. I would say this is worth the money and just seems like a good bit of fun to be honest. And so, yeah, got our targets. I'll probably use this when reviewing other ones. Uh, other BB guns of just would be able to knock over these and that kind of thing. But yeah, all in all, I'd say this is worth the money. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and leaving a like down below. And if you're sitting here now like, oh, I didn't enjoy this. Well, you made it this far, so I feel like a part of you enjoys this. So yeah, take that into mind. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so I can let you know when I upload new videos. If you want to get in touch with me, then I've got my social medias linked. So just if you follow them and you can send me a message on any of them and I will try and get back to you. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.